Hi, seventh graders. The last few weeks have been crazy, but we want to take some time to talk to you. First off, a lot of you had some questions for us. for us. We've been doing okay since school let out. We've been crafting, reading, building, planting, and learning right alongside you. And learning right alongside you. We've had our own trainings and classes, which have kept us busy, in the hopes that we could make this style of learning easier for you. As you may have heard by now, there won't be any SOLs this year. Remember this feeling of freedom from testing stress. Freedom from testing stress. We're not sure yet what the new school year will look like or when we can go back to school to pick up belongings or return books. Don't forget those library books. We're just anxious as you are to get back to the school building, but for now, we're just trying to stay healthy and follow Governor Northam's guidelines. Governor Northam's guidelines. You know, you know, everyone has a tough seventh grade year. It's one of the most difficult times to get through, no doubt. Yours was even more challenging than usual, but you did it. But you did it. You made it. you made it through seventh grade in a pandemic, isolated at home. In fact, COVID-19 and the social distancing we've enacted will end up being the type of historical moment that you'll be talking about with your friends for years to come, a marker in your history that will be in history textbooks. History textbooks. One day, younger siblings or your own children may ask you what this quarantine was like. You won't forget this year or the endurance and patience you gained. This means that you're ready to move on to a new grade level with new teachers and a new schedule. We don't know exactly how it'll look yet, or what new challenges will arise, but we know that you'll have the skills and the mental strength to get through whatever it is. it is. And in the meantime, we'll get through it together because your seventh grade teachers will still be here for you. So off you go, eighth graders. Remember what you've learned this year, especially while at home. You're going to be amazing. Sincerely, yours truly, best wishes, Miss Kassebaum.